hello guys welcome to my PHP programming for beginners course in this course I have more than five projects this video is all about outline of the course so first of all we will learn download and install XAM then write the basic syntax of PHP variables in PHP operators in PHP if else statement in PHP nested if else statement switch statement nested switch statement then loops in PHP arrays in PHP functions in PHP then we will use HTML form to get the data from input text fields radio buttons and also check boxes then we will learn step by step MySQL database queries and also design pattern okay then we will create a project insert update delete view in PHP with database then SQL injection password encryption super global variables in PHP object oriented programming OOP language then insert update delete view image with database then login and registration system in php with database those are projects guys this and this also project then i will teach you step by step usage of ajax with php then we will create more than two projects with the help of php and also ajax the first project is the letter counter application now the second one is the insert update delete view in PHP with Ajax. Then we will learn how we can buy a domain name and hosting. Then we will upload our PHP project with online server. So just a minute, I will show you the projects. This is our first project. In this project have a process insert update delete. For example, I store the record. I store the record um, PHP and also PHP. Register now. Your record has been saved in the database. This project also connected database. Okay, so I go to view.php. I think I check it. No display.php. inside the display.php have a, our complete database record I am able to delete the record I am able to update the record I change the pro admin and click to update now as you can see guys pro admin record has been updated this is a very simple project this project connected with database now the second project is a image project for example I will upload the image you can't store the image please upload another type image it means we need to upload the image without clicking upload now so I click upload now I mean upload image I go to desktop and I select the pictures folder and inside the pictures folder have a many files first I will show you validation I select more than one MB image and upload that click to upload now image size too large I can't upload more than one MB image now the next security is for example I select the document where is the document I select document file upload now you can't store the image please upload another type of image finally I upload image uh, for example I go to pictures and I upload the image like this upload now then I am able to see my whole database image is available on my this page I am able to update the image and also delete the image for example I want to delete this image the image has been deleted now I want to update the image and I click to plot 
select this image upload now right this is a also connected with database this is a image project you can use that to insert update delete and view the image with database right and also your local project now the third project is the largest project of this course login and registration system first I click to login and we need to click to register now I click to first validation is a uh, first I'll show you I click to register now please fill in the blank this is the first security now the second security is I enter characters like this and write username and I use user at gmail.com I use password please enter valid username this is a username security now the next security is I write user and I enter for example something email and I use password please enter valid email this is the email security now the next security is the password confirm I enter user user gmail.com I enter the password one two three confirm password is one two password is password not matched okay now the next is I use users I, I use user user at gmail.com and password one two three four five six one two three four five six you have successfully registered but I use same user and another email and same password I can't store the same username with database please enter another username I can't store the same email in the database I write users for PHP I write user at gmail.com I think this email okay and 123456 123456 hit enter please enter another email this is a email security so after register the user in the project then user will able to log in the account I click to log in and I write user one two three four five six click login this is a my account page in this page have a logout button okay so I am able to click to log out and this uh, is uh, your login page okay so this is a complete login and registration system and also you will learn how we can encrypt the password and store the encrypted password into database and how you can match the encrypted password with your login system okay now the next project is later counter application this counter application you will learn PHP and also jQuery Ajax to develop this project I write anything else we will learn PHP programming for beginners beginners step by step okay how many characters available inside this input text field 56 okay I remove that then you are able to see the character size has been decreased right this is a simple project this is a without database project now the final project is a ajax and php project in this project have a same thing insert update delete but without refreshing a page I click to the add new user I enter the username and email I click to register now close 
as you can see record has been stored in the database and also we have seen the record available on my page okay now the next thing is I am able to update the record admin pro at gmail.com update now close that as you can see guys I am able to delete the record right and we have seen the simple message that will display the five seconds only so guys this is a course and also those are projects you will learn step by step i hope you are like that if you want to learn that so don't waste the time and enroll now thank you very much for watching